We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at VC314. It is the Mandalorian Fleet Commander from Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Uh, this was no doubt going to get a release at some point. Uh, he did get a release in the Black Series and it was a good figure. Um, especially when they've got the mould to be able to do such a thing. May as well. You can see this one looking pretty much in line with how he looks in the show. I just did a review of the re-release of Axe Woves, the Privateer. Um, and yeah, they, they could have just used this body, to be honest. <laughs> it would have worked just as well. But um, nevertheless, we'll get a quick look at the back. VC314. This on the front there. Looks nice. I like the sort of aquamarine blue. Figure pops nicely on it. But to get a closer look at the figure, let's bust it open and have a look. Okay, folks, here we have the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. Nice looking figure, another nice addition to the Mandalorian ranks. Yeah, he's going to look good displayed with the others. I hope this isn't a one and done for the Mandalorians. I like seeing seeing these troops and, you know, Hasbro likes getting the most out of a mould. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can expect some more to come. You know, maybe in a, one of those four packs that now are finally becoming available to us here in Australia. In terms of accessories, he does come with his blaster pistol there. Unfortunately, no holster for it, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, his jetpack, which I think is unique to this guy's, at least ever so slightly. I'm just comparing it to Axe, who I've just reviewed. And yeah, slightly different jetpacks, so that's cool. And that, that that is removable, but I like the color scheme. I like they did the same with the black series. They used that sort of metallic blue for some of the armor plates there on the gauntlets, thighs. Get a close up of the head there. That turned out all right. I think that looks good. And again, for scale, I think it looks fine. But for me personally, I'm going to swap this out. And display him helmeted. That's how Mandalorians look best, in my opinion, with the helmets on. And he seems to share most of the same, same parts and pieces as most of the other Mandalorians we've had. Which is fine, like get a bit of reuse out of them. A slightly different belt there. And one thing I've already noticed on this figure is the thigh joint sort of coming coming a little bit loose there, where it's just put on. And I'll pop that off afterwards, I'll use a little bit of heat. No, I won't, I'll just do it right now. <laughs> whether it's just, I don't know. I'm trying to see whether there's a little bit of extra plastic in there somewhere. And even just popping that back on, it seems to sit okay. There is a little bit of extra plastic just there, so whether or not it's just a slightly, like a little bit bung in the mould, who knows. Um, and even on the back here, there's the plastic armour plate, you can kind of just sort of see that separating, but it is a separate piece. Which I don't think we've seen, seen that before. Or well, Axe isn't wearing armor. So I do have Boba Fett here too. Yeah, his seems to be built into the mold. So that's not it. So whether or not this is just a new part of this character's, this figure's mold. It's a separate piece. I mean, I'm not going to notice that once it's all put on. What's that jetpack sort of sitting on there? I'll get the right one for starters, that'll help. I'm not going to notice that when he's on the shelf. So the shoulder armor is all part of the 
that sort of top arm piece there on the neck. Whoop. <laughs> so in terms of articulation, he's got the little swivel on the rangefinder. He's got the ball joint in the head and the neck. And I'm just looking at that neck too, like just as I pulled that helmet off, that sort of lifting, lifting back there. So maybe that's something going on there. Further exploration needed. Again, it's not hasn't broken the figure. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just something, something intruding in there. A little bit of extra plastic or something. It happens. It happens. I'm not going to get upset about it. Uh, torso joint there. He's got a ball hinge in his shoulders and elbows, and the wrists up and down there, and up and down on that wrist as well, which is nice. Does have the ball and socket in the thighs. When the hips, upper upper thigh swivel there, hinge in the knees, hinge in the ankles, and rocker at the foot. So, no, I do like he's wearing that sort of almost shore trooperish armor there on the on the shins. It's nice that these sort of Mando survivors, whether or not they've taken off a shore trooper, I'm not hundred percent sure. I know Din Jaren had one of his legs looking like that for a, for a while. I think he still does. It's hard to keep up <laughs> with all the changes to his armor. But yeah, he looks cool. I like I like the contrast of the colors, the light gray and the the metallic blue. You know, stands out differently against you know Axe, who's almost got a sort of greeny gray sort of armor. But definitely the the blue of the night hours of Bo Katan's clan Krees, you know, which stems from Death Watch back in the back during the Clone Wars. Fantastic stuff. You know, really liking the look. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'll pop his head back on just so he can get another look. Yeah, I think yeah, the moment I'll put display this guy with the helmet on, but my Black Series version will have him helmet off. So at least I can mix up my displays a little bit between the two scales. Let's do the old peg test on this guy as well. For those that want to use action figure stands. And that fits on nicely. You can part his legs a little bit there we go no he's cool man I like him always love more Mandos and why wouldn't you they look fantastic yeah I'd, I'd love to see just some more troop builders they did do the uh, did sort of the Death Watch Mandalorians a couple of years ago. There's some more so from those flashbacks, but I think I've got two or three of those. I've got two. I'm just sort of looking over at my shelf here. I think I've got three, maybe two. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see very well. But yeah, they're nice. They all sort of fit in together because they're all blue. They look cool. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down below. Let me know if you think about the uh, fleet commander here. I'm not sure whether they've given him a name yet. I haven't looked into it, but um, yeah, it'd be cool cool to see him get a cool name like Axe or Koska. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. We'll see you for another video very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.